Welcome one and welcome all to Orchids for Dummies. Now, foul pals, in today's video, I will be giving my final thoughts on purchasing orchids on eBay for those who have never purchased them before. I also will be showing you all of the orchids that I am now done buying for this year. So please stay tuned. <laughs> is one of the Pathio Petalums that I just purchased off of eBay. Now, this was $15, but it was um, $10.50 for shipping. So it brought it out to be $25. So um, this right here, I want to let you know, they did not deceive me at all. This is what it came in. Um, this stuff right here, it had one bloom and it was alleged that it was also in Spike. Okay, now I'm not going to tell the name of the grower because if I was the grower, I would not want people to know. As you can see, it's very, very salty in here. So that is why I chose to repot her once I got her. Also, even though she came in such a small box, and she was packaged and wrapped very nicely. Um, she still spilled over. I'm sorry, this isn't the box that she came in. One sec. Now, this little bit of old orchid came in this really, really big box. So, once I opened it up, honey, the um, orchid and the media was everywhere. It was such a mess because it came in this real big box. And you can see the orchid is very, very small. Now, the box that I had on the table is actually the box that I would have sent it in. Now, I tried to tell the brewer, but she said she had been um, boxing orchids for so many years and never had a complaint. So, I told her, okay, girl, live your best life, honey. Live your best life. My husband, on the other hand, was furious and he wanted a refund. But I told him it wouldn't make sense because... Honey, it was just $15 because she's going to charge to, you don't get the shipping back. Okay? So, what I did was put her in some Orchiata bark, um, as I promised, and I put some Paralite at the bottom and a little sphagnum moss on top. This fan right here is all that she has going for herself. Now, um, she was advertised as this, and she told me, she said, you could cut the leaves off. Now, this is a fungal infection that has spread it, and it's still spreading. This is allegedly the, um, the spike or the bloom that is to come. The other one, it fell off as soon as I opened the box. Um, it also had two leaves that had fallen off during the transportation of it. But I'm doing the best that I can um, with Pathio Petalums. It's kind of like a wait and, wait, see, wait and see. She had three roots, so who knows, who knows? But you have to stay tuned. So up next, Foul Pals, are my favorite orchids of all time, darling. Of all time, honey. Mini! I love me a mini! I love me a mini! Yes, so um, this is the box that it came in. Um, they came from Florida. They were bare rooted. And um, um, I do hate that this, in my opinion, is a medium sized Phalaenopsis. So that was something that I feel short on. Um, this is not a mini to me. However, it is small. And I am going to mount this baby up, okay? I don't know what the blooms would look like. These are no name ID, okay? No name fails, okay? The root system is adequate. It's adequate. I just have to take care of it and it will do what it needs to do. Of course, this is going to be the one that I am most excited about. Foul pounds, this is a phalaenopsis, boo-boo. This is the Phalaenopsis, just like my Wilson. So, honey, mama got her some variegated leaves going on. However, she did um, had a um, split leaf when she got here. Um, the roots, they look okay. I'm going to pot them up. I was just waiting for you guys to get a look at all of my new orchids. Now, I do have just a few more orchids, but I wanted to give you the conclusion to purchasing orchids off eBay. I will say that it's how you do it and how you portray yourself. 
Um, the first thing that us new people see is the blooms and they know that. So that's why they display the bloom first and then the orchid. Well, foul pals, I want to tell you, make sure that you are able to see the roots of your orchids before you purchase it. Make sure that you are able to see the leaves before you purchase it. I ran across a lot of orchids that were mounted and only had one to two leaves but it had a beautiful bloom and these people wanted us to pay money for it. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is the pricing. Most of the time, if they say, if it's too good to be true, honey, if it sounds too good to be true, then honey, it probably is. So when you see orchids, these were um, three, four, $15 plus shipping and handling. You cannot beat that with a stick, but you see what you got. You got just Phalaenopsis orchids that are not in bloom and that are bare root. Now, if you are going to get a pot and all of those things, if you see something that's $15, it's usually too good to be true. So before you place that bid, before you um, spend your coins, honey, make sure that you look at the reviews of that seller to see how many negative comments that they have versus the positive comments that they have. Because Fab House, what I will tell you is after you purchase whatever you purchase from eBay, there is no customer service to help you get your money back from the person that you have given it to. So eBay only tells you to try to work it out with that person. So I would recommend that you don't buy orchids off eBay, at least. I don't believe I will be buying any more orchids off eBay because it's just too tricky. Any place that I can't go and file a proper complaint, I don't feel comfortable um, giving my credit card information to, honey. Now, stay tuned for the rest of my orchids. So, Fab Pals up next is something that I recommend for all of my new growers. Now, in the winter, you might not have beautiful blooms in your home, and you might want to fiddle and faddle with your Phalaenopsis orchids because you might be indoors more. Now, what you want to do is go get you one of these beautiful synthetic orchids. That way, if you want to water your orchids, go water this fake orchid. Leave your other orchids alone, baby. Just because you are at home now, you're staying at home more, does not mean that your Phalaenopsis orchids need you to harass them. Now, if you have such an obsession of messing with your orchids, like I said, please go get you one of these beautiful synthetic orchids that I got from my local Walmart. You can never go wrong. It really sets the tone for the winter months ahead. Okay, foul pals. Now, if you haven't figured it out by now, you probably probably saying, honey, I know why mama been gone. Yes, honey, mama been spending some coins. Mama been spending some coins, honey. Honey, my husband had got some extra coins, honey, and I was able to spend them. But I spent them, and they're gone. So, no more orchids for me this year. Um, my life is complete. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid. Now, I got these from Atlanta at a nursery, okay? Well, not a nursery, but um, a Kroger, which is a grocery store. I really want you guys to get um, the full beauty of it. Let me demount, honey. Let's go handheld, honey. Let's go handheld. Because it's really beautiful. Um, it wasn't that I got it because it was simply a mini, but I thought that this was very unique and... Um, I've never seen a mini, um, oh, it's still budding. Okay, keep on budding for me, boo. But yes, I'm gonna repot her up today in some Orchiata bark, honey, because she's living her best life. And they came in these beautiful little pots, and look at the price. Now, if you guys saw the prices at the Alabama Orchid Show and Sale, they did not have minis, but the, um, the nursery that the Botanical Gardens had, their uh, miniature Phalaenopsis was double this price, $15. Honey, ain't, I can't do it. Not when I know I can find better for cheaper. Okay, and the last miniatures that I got was three for 15, honey. Now, ma'am, honey, you will learn these things once you start growing. Now, she does have a little nutrient deficiency, but she will be okay, especially once I pot her up and give her one good dose of fertilizer. Well, no, I'll wait till she gets done blooming. 
And this little baby right here, honey, you already know I got it because of the leaves. Uh, Bell pounds, honey, look at me collecting all of these cute little phalaenopsis orchids, honey, with the variegated leaves, honey, yes, honey. Of course, the blooms are beautiful. It's one of them that's holding up the pollen, and I love when they hold up the pollen because it's like they holding up the light. Hold up the light. Hold up the light. Okay, I can't find it, but as you can see, very beautiful blooms. I'm sorry for the shaky hands, Val Pals. I'm sorry for the shaky hands, honey. I'm trying to give you this 4K quality. But, um, new root tips. So, this will be another one that I will mount. But I will say a cause of concern is once you get in the nitty gritty, um, that looks like a little bit of that black mold. So, I'm going to give a good spray of hydrogen peroxide and hopefully... Um, or just wish for the best, but they are definitely going to come out of this pot today. Well, Fail Pals, I thank you so much for staying tuned to another video. I thank you guys so much for supporting me. You guys are so awesome. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell your friend about Orchids for Dummies. Until next time.